So, uh, Sanjay, we got a couple of questions um, actually about uh, blue versus white light. Uh, Harry is asking about it, and also uh, Scotty Damron says, um, Dr. Sanjay, do SPS corals color up better under primary white light slash full spectrum, or is it necessary to run blue for a minimal amount of hours? I mean, uh, as far as I know, they color up pretty well with with the white, whiter, whiter light. Right. I think visually the the small amount of blue to me looks good. So when I run my tank, for example, I'm running it pretty much at full power LEDs every single channel. Right. So I'm trying to get as white a light I can from these because they're not. They, I mean, there are limitations on how much white you can get if they're using blue LEDs yep. in there. Right. Um, I like the full spectrum look of the tank. I mean, I have to look at my tank, and I like the full spectrum look. A lot of people like the fluorescent look of the tank, and then they like to run blue lights. So one of the questions always comes up is, are these corals developing the same fluorescent look under this white light that I grow them in versus somebody growing them only in blue light? Right. So I've done this experiment many times. I just turn off all the white light, just let the blue lights on, and you'll pretty much see exactly the same colors you would see if I was growing them only in blue light. So it's not like they're not developing those right. colors. Right. You just don't see them much in the white light because the fluorescence is overpowered by the brightness right. of the light. But it's there, so you know. I tell people if you're growing them completely only under blue light, they're going to grow slower. They, they don't get the full spectrum light, and a lot of colors will may not develop. Yeah. yeah. Um, what about the? Uh... But you know, uh, this is the hobby has gone that way. The hobby has gone the way of the blue. You know. I know. Uh, and every single scientific data that I have ever looked at, or even taken myself, it shows that corals absorb throughout the full spectrum right so they are absorbing in the green they're absorbing in the red they're absorbing in the yellow they're absorbing all of that whole range okay so why not just give them everything because they can absorb it yeah, yeah when i was um you know knocking around the idea what which leds to uh to get for the new tank i was um i i, I consistently heard that you you got to um make sure that the leds that you get have enough blue light in them and that um and that's important in terms of um you know an led fixture is having make sure you get enough blue light to uh to grow the corals and color up the corals under leds so uh but i find that interesting in terms of what you're saying with full spectrum and and um yeah well We'll see. I mean, the, I, I've superimposed the spectrum of a radium lamp, right? The old 20K radiums, which everybody used to love. I still do. Right? I still I've do. Super, you know, I've superimposed them on the LED spectrums to see what the differences are. And the LEDs are way bluer than those blue lamps we used to. Metal halides we yeah, used to use. I, um, I don't think there's any way that I can run the, uh, the LEDs so blue like that. I think it would just... Not uh, not seem natural to me, but I don't know. That's I would agree with you on that. I mean, it's it's, it's your tank. You yeah, can do what you want. Exactly. It, you know. But if you come back and say my corals aren't growing well, or this is happening, you know, there's a good chance they're not getting enough light. They're not growing fast enough because there's not enough light for them to grow fast. You know. So every even the people who sell the corals, and this is where the blue light really starts, came into play. People started selling them at frag swaps with blue lights, and of course you see all the fluorescence, right? So a lot of the hobbies go think that they should be grown under blue light. Well, I can tell you a lot of the people who are growing corals, then they are also using a lot of white light in the daytime to grow these corals. It's only when they show them, they're showing them with a lot of blue light. Well, you know, they got they got to be eye catching, I guess. Um, St. Yeah. Nova is asking, uh, what does Dr. Sanjay think of the predominantly blue A-plus schedule run by Coral Labs? I don't know much about it. I run all my lights at 100% full power, right? So if I'm going to then start using their blue-plus schedules, 
that means I have to dim all the other mm. channels. Right? So it's effectively I'm actually using less light. There you go. Interesting. Right? And and I'm gonna see slower growth. 